most important challenge in the world today and number one of the UN Sustainable Development Goals is no poverty. Most poor live in remote, rural communities around farming and fishing. Many organisations are investing trillions of dollars around the world to address this problem, but they struggle to connect with those communities effectively. And that's what our community does. We connect the last mile. Because you can't solve poverty without addressing financial inclusion, and you can't address financial inclusion at scale without relevant technology. A decade ago, iPhone and other smartphones changed the world for people like us, but they didn't help the poor. Farmers might love Facebook as much as anyone, but it doesn't help them work, earn more money, or feed their children. I'm David, founder of AgUnity, and we are transforming the lives of these people with smartphone and blockchain technology that is relevant to them because it is easy to use and it solves real problems like a user interface specifically designed for people with low literacy, connectivity issues in remote regions, recording transactions securely on blockchain, and ease and cost-effective deployment and support. We fit in the market gap for super apps, and Agunity is like the App Store in that we encourage others to port their applications onto our platform and build their own communities around it. So a lot of the competitors in this space are actually potential customers for us. Agunity, the more people that use Agunity, the more compelling it becomes for others. So we see the farmers use it, then we see the shopkeeper, the jeep driver, the doctor, and so forth. And the more apps we add, the more compelling and sticky it becomes. And we can encourage other organizations to build applications on it. And for this, we have a realistic plan to impact the lives of a million people. Learning how to do this wasn't easy. We started by sending time living and working in communities with farmers in Africa, Pacific, and Asia, and learned firsthand what their real challenges were. And we discovered we can increase farmer income by three times. For our farmers, we solve the gap between applications that are too complicated and general purse solutions that are just not relevant to their daily needs. But our real customers are the organizations that are trying to connect with them. Service providers offering products and services. We slash the cost of financial services from financial inclusion for banks and service providers. We provide transparency for NGOs. And our technology has been used in developed markets for Australian wool growers, beef and fishing industry, and we have provided the technology for the world's largest fresh produce tracking project for a $50 billion retail chain, and from that we have equity and over a billion, million dollars a year in revenue. We have a brilliant and diverse team with technology, development experience, farming, and operations. We've won countless awards, and we've been recognized by NGOs and major universities as a model of sustainable development. We've raised under a million dollars to date. We have over a million dollars a year in revenue this year. We have a million and a half of assets on our balance sheet, and we're currently raising $5 million to scale up but most importantly, to help improve the lives for billions of millions of people. Thank you. What's your profit uh, year to date right now? Sorry? What's your profit or revenue year to date? Uh, yeah. So year to, this year, yeah. uh, we're, still, we're still loss making. We have a burn of about $35,000 a month um, because we're investing in the technology development. Um, and yeah, revenues are about 1.15 million Australian dollars. What's your burn rate for a project like this and the capital you guys raised? Well, actually, most of the projects are actually funded by the service providers that want them. So we have a, a major commodity buyer that's sponsoring a project in Papua New Guinea, um, so they can improve the quality of the coffee they're getting in. We have banks in the South Pacific that are pros uh, sponsoring projects to, in order to increase financial inclusion. And we have a number of NGOs like World Food Program and CTA sponsoring projects in Africa, the Pacific. And so usually setting up the project is always covered by the main beneficiaries, and they're our customers. 
and then over the long time, we build up the network of, of the farmers and we collect transaction fees for things they transact. How are you looking to scale up across farmers? Yeah, well, that's what we have. We have a number of organizations that come to us that have got an app, like uh, hazelnut growers in Bhutan, and they haven't been able to deploy that because they haven't solved the connectivity and other issues. And we just get migrate their application onto the Ag Unity platform, and we deploy it in that case to about 10,000 farmers in Bhutan. So no cost to us, we get 10,000 users, and then we provide the banking applications and all the other things. So we are very like a Gojack in that regard, and then we get a seed, and then we grow it from there on. Okay. Um, and where is the blockchain element to it? We use the blockchain in the most simple way, it's just a transaction log to improve trust. So if I hand you my coca beans, there's a secure transaction to make sure that we know that happens and everyone gets paid. So it's really just a transaction log. We're not using smart contracts or any advanced features. Thank you very much. Thank you.